So animals get heartworms from mosquitoes. The mosquito picks up the heartworm from a dog that's already positive. When it bites another dog, then that dog now gets infected. Um, so by being on a once a month preventative, you keep it from ever getting to the heart where they grow up and become the adult heartworms that reproduce and then spread to another mosquito. Cats can get heartworms, but it's much more rare. They're the wrong host, so often they'll fight them off before they get to their heart. But the few times they make it to the heart, they can have a really bad reaction. Even one heartworm can kill a cat. So we recommend just a once a month prevention for a cat as well. Dogs should be tested annually as soon as possible. Cats, we don't usually test because you can't really treat anyway. We just start on preventative. Sometimes at a specialist level, they will test for other purposes. But dogs, we do recommend annual testing for. If a dog is found to be heartworm positive, there's much safer, more effective treatment than there used to be. It's a series of antibiotics that help weaken the worms, and then rest so that that antibiotic continues to work and the dog stays healthy. Then an injection of something that kills the adult worms, followed by another month of rest, followed by the final injections that kill all of those worms. Treatment again is very safe now, but we still want to keep the dog as calm as possible. The worms live in the heart, and as soon as the heart gets active and starts pumping really hard, that's when pieces of that dying worm can break off and cause major problems. But as long as you keep them nice and calm with the slow, really effective way of killing the worms now, dogs do really, really well. Most people consider that there has been damage done to the lungs just by having had heartworms, but it's kind of like you give up smoking and your lungs get really close to as good as possible. So as long as they're treated thoroughly, they usually live a very happy, normal life. And again, they have to stay on heartworm preventative now because having it once doesn't mean you'll never get it again. So we are now following the, all the guidelines by the American Heartworm Society and treating them through that three month course, but making dogs available for somebody to foster and consider adopting at the end of that course if you do that, we'll ask that you keep the dog confined or on a leash with you. During that time, we want their brain engaged. We want them playing with puzzle toys, having human interaction, just not running. So when you're not home, we ask that you keep them crated. And when you are home, take them on nice, slow walks and give them fun things to keep their mind engaged. Treatment, actually, it is injections in the muscles in the back. And they can be kind of sore afterwards, but we give pain medicines to help relieve that, kind of like you getting a flu shot, or even a corona shot, that soreness in your arm they're gonna feel in their back. So we give anti-inflammatory pain meds, and they do pretty good. And in the end, almost all of them, especially by following all of the American Heartworm Society recommendations, they really live a fairly normal life. We've been really happy with the results. If you do choose to foster with the intention of adopting, we'll do all of the care. We'll give all of the antibiotics and talk you through resting and give you ideas of things to keep their mind engaged. We'll give them all the injections and the pain meds that go along with that. Once all that is done, then you'll be available to adopt and then it becomes yours and you take to your vet and get started on the preventative.